dissolved, the United States will benefit from using it as super soldiers. Whether it's advanced genetics or advanced robotics, the general public will feel safer knowing they're super soldiers to protect them. They will also have the opportunity to have injured veterans back on the battlefield. With super soldiers, we don't just have the opportunity to help America, but this could benefit the world. We can stop dictatorships. We can help developing countries. This could potentially save the world. 416,000 American soldiers died in World War II. I think. What if there's World War III? Even more than that. With all the advancements the world has made, weapons, vehicles, I think we can benefit. We can't think about one soldier helping to protect America, but the way of living in America is more important. Stop there. The possibilities are endless. It just depends on how far science can take us. My opponent may say, this way we aren't sending our own living, breathing soldiers into war and we will have a lot less dead. But I disagree, because how is the robot going to know the difference between our enemy soldiers and civilians or children? With those robots or exoskeletons, you could end up with lots of innocent people and possibly children dead. Therefore, we aren't going to send something into war that we aren't 100% sure about it killing innocent people or unnecessarily destroying things. Just like robots and exoskeletons, which can be hacked, pushed, and bugged, P.W. Singer says, danger can occur when we replace thinking, feeling, soldiers with emotionless robots that like any quarrel of killing. Why would we put emotionless killing machines in war with actual living breathing soldiers who are saying they won't kill one of our own in a firefight? The Armory, the Army, Marines, and all the others don't need anything new or more. Why would we put robots in war that could be hacked? We should have come up with new strategies and tactics instead of million dollar murder machines. When the enemy has robots also, we can hack them. But what's stopping them from hacking us, bugging us, or glitching ours? If we fight with robots, we would be fighting a war with mouse and keyboard. We would spend more time breaking firewalls instead of doing actual missions to get stuff done. say that innocent lives could be taken from the use of robotics, but I disagree with that because robotics would be controlled by humans, and robotics are not our only option. We could also use genetics to enhance our soldiers' athletic performance and ability. could save soldiers' lives and innocent lives all in one. We could also benefit from these advancements in our own society ourselves. 